What's up guys, Andrew Bainey here, and on today's video, we are gonna be looking at the Howard Benson Vocals Plugin by Joey Sturgis Tones. This is a brand new vocals plugin suite which features seven different modules to give you an amazing vocal mix. In this video, I'm gonna be explaining the ins and outs of the plugins as well as showing you guys what each of those modules does and how I use it in a vocal mix. Before we get started on that, I do wanna mention that this video is sponsored by Joey Sturgis Tones, and you can find more about this plugin as well as all the other products that Joey Sturgis Tones makes in the description below Below and the pinned comment. So before I get into all the specs and features of this plugin, I'm just going to show you what it sounds like in the context of a full mix. I'm going to be using one of my songs, which is titled Grasping at the Unseen, and I'm going to be playing the beginning portion of that song. Once again, the only plugin that I have on for my vocal chain is the Howard Benson Vocals plugin, and it sounds something like this. Alright, so now that I've shown you guys what this plugin can sound like in a full mix, we're going to go on a deep dive of the plugin. I'm going to show you guys all the ins and outs of it and how I use it. So first and foremost, let's go through the interface of this plugin. When you open it up, you're going to be greeted by this screen here, which shows you seven different modules. That's going to be the vocals, module, EQ, multiplier, width, echo, space, and output. Some of these might be a little self-explanatory if you're familiar with vocal mixing, but we're gonna go through them anyways. So first and foremost, let's talk about this vocals module right here. With this main vocal module, it's a really easy way to add compression, gain, and some more warmth and excitement to your vocal mix. So as you can see here in my preset, which is called Bane of Vocals, as usual, I'm very creative with my naming processes. Um, I've got the input pretty high. I've got the compression basically at full. And then I've also added a little bit of grit, which is essentially a little bit of vocal distortion because it's metal vocals and it always sounds good with a little bit of distortion as long as it's not too fried. One of the really cool features about this vocals module is that you can actually shift plus double click the input knob like so and then it will actually ask you to play your vocals and it'll automatically do this stage for you so if i go ahead and play my vocals it's going to analyze them like this Okay, so now we can see that the vocal processing is complete and it's automatically set these settings where they need to go. So that's really all I did for this section. Of course, you can also do it manually where you can change the input gain and the compression um, yourself if you feel like you know better than the program. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what the vocals module does by turning it off and on as that vocal section plays and that's gonna sound something like this. Do you see me? Do you even recognize me? As I stand by your bad side. So as you can hear, obviously it increases the volume of the vocals a ton because of all that compression, the gain, and of course that added grit adds a little bit more distortion to it like I was saying earlier. Okay, so next up we're gonna move over to the EQ module. Of course this is an equalizer module. It has a high frequency, mid frequency, low frequency, and then a couple more goodies at the bottom here. So with the high frequency, this of course is your gain and your frequency that you wish the high frequency sections to affect. Um, you can either have it as a high shelf or a high bell by turning on and off the bell icon. And then for the middle frequency, it's the same thing. You can increase or decrease the gain on a selected frequency. And this time around, there's no bell button, but there is a Q uh, dial, which you can increase or decrease the width of the bell that's in the mid frequency. And then for the low filter, or sorry, the low frequency, it's the exact same thing as the high frequency, same options, except of course for lower frequencies. And then we have a pre-comp button, a high-pass filter button, and a lo-fi button. So for these extra buttons on the bottom, the pre-comp knob switches the module position from pre-compression on or post-compression off. And the HPF is of course the high-pass filter. And then of course there's also this lo-fi toggle on or off. And this also gives you that kind of lo-fi vocal effect. And I'll show you guys what that sounds like in a second here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and play that little vocal run once more, turning the EQ module off and on so you guys can hear what difference that makes. Do you see me? Do you even recognize me? As I stand by your bedside, were you just looking through me? 
Okay, so as you guys can hear with the EQ on, basically I'm just taming the low end a little more and then boosting the high end a little bit, which will help your vocals sit above the rest of the instruments in your mix. Um, I'm also gonna show you guys what that lo-fi button does right now. Do you see me? Do you even recognize me? So essentially it gives you that kind of radio talking effect that you hear a lot in modern metal songs and you can do that with just the click of the button. Okay, next up we're moving on to the multiplier module. This section basically gives you kind of like a pitch shift up and down. It basically makes it sound like you have multiple layers of vocals going on. I find this particularly useful because normally for my vocal style I only actually do one track. I don't do that much doubling with my vocals so having a multiplier is super awesome because it makes it sound like I recorded way more layers than I actually did. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on and basically for this section there's only two knobs. The offset knob essentially gives you the pitch offset of the vocal doubles so basically the more offset it is the more pitch shifted it is and then of course the amount which is the gain of the vocal doubles so how loud the vocal doubles are. So with the multiplier on it will sound something like this. Do you see me? Do you even recognize me? As I stand by your bedside! So on my preset, I don't have this too high up there, but it does add a nice doubling effect. I'm gonna go ahead and boost the amount and the offset way more so you guys can hear a much more emphasized versions of what this module might do to your vocals. Do you see me? Do you even recognize me? As I stand by your bedside! WHY YOU JUST LOOKING THROUGH ME?! So as you can hear in that exaggerated example, that gives you a much better idea of what the multiplier can actually do. Okay, next up we're gonna move over to the width module. This is another quite simple one. It has two knobs and one button. It has the range dial, which essentially gives you the range of the signal that will be processed by the widener. It has the width which is the width of the output of this module. And then it also has a toggle to turn on mono low end. And again, this will just kind of help tighten up the low end of your vocal mix. If you have a very wide low end on the vocals, it might mess with other things in your mix. So I personally chose to have this on. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the width module on and you guys can hear what that sounds like right now. Do you see me? Do you even recognize me? As I stand by your bedside! So again, as you can hear, basically it just widens those vocals and makes them even more stereo than they were to begin with. Okay, next up, moving right along to the echo module. This one is very self-explanatory. It only has one dial, which is the amount of echo, and it has a mode switch where you can switch between a mono echo or a stereo echo. And then it also has this dial here where you can basically select how the echo affects what's going on in the output. So I have it at quarter notes, so essentially every quarter note there is an echo. You can increase it or decrease it accordingly to you know, a half note, a sixteenth note, whatever you might want to do. Um, again, I'm just leaving it as a quarter note because I thought that sounded best for this song. It also has a lo-fi button, which basically makes the echoed vocals lo-fi, kind of like what I showed you earlier with the EQ. I found that to be personally very useful because it differentiates from the main vocal line and the echoes way more, having the echoes lo-fi and the main not lo-fi. Um, and then of course there is a sync button which will always keep the echoes in sync with whatever your tempo is in your DAW, which of course I always want. If you some, for some reason don't want it to be synced, you can turn that off. but. Uh, yeah, I don't really know why you might want to do that personally. So now with the echo module on, I'm going to show you guys what that sounds like right now. Do you see me? Do you even recognize me? So as you can hear, those echoes are nice ping pong in between left and right because I got that stereo knob switched on. And of course they're doing quarter notes because that's what I selected. Um, I'm going to go ahead and increase the amount of echoes and I'm going to switch it to, let's say, I don't know, let's do 16th notes and uh, see how that sounds. Do you see me? Do you even recognize me? 
So you can hear as you increase the repetition of the echoes, obviously it kind of gives you more of like a tremolo effect, I guess you could say. Um, and again, increasing the amount, of course, increases the volume of the echoes. Okay, moving on to the sixth module. We are now on the space module. This is a reverb module, really. It's only got two knobs, quite simple. It's got the size and the amount. The size meaning the size of the room that your vocals will be reverberating through and the amount being the, you know, output of the reverbed sound. So pretty self-explanatory and it sounds like something like this when that module is turned on. Do you see me? Do you even recognize me? As I stand by your bedside! Okay, so again, pretty self-explanatory. It's just a reverb module, you know, nothing too fancy going on here, but it does sound really good. Of course, we're gonna ramp up the size and the amount way more so you guys can hear a much more exaggerated version of what you could get. Do you see me? Do you even me? So of course, you can make your vocals sound like they're going through an insane cave if you want, but obviously for my purposes, I had it much, much more subtle because I thought that sounded better for a main vocal line. However, this kind of stuff would be much more useful for let's say background vocals or something like that. Okay, and last but not least, we have the output module. Uh, this has a gain knob, which is basically the level of the output of the entire plugin. You can obviously switch the module on and off if you wanna mute it. You can also turn the entire plugin on or off using the power button. Um, and then it's also got a pre-effects button and a limit button, both of which I have turned on. So once again, I'm gonna play you guys what these vocals sound like with none of this stuff applied and then with my entire preset applied so you can really hear the difference that this plugin makes and that sounds something like this. Do you see me? Do you even recognize me? As I stand by your bedside! Why are you just looking through me? So as you can hear, this plugin obviously makes a huge difference in a vocal mix, especially when compared to raw vocals. If you're looking for kind of like an all-in-one solution and just having one plugin for your vocal chain, this might be the plugin for you. Again, you can find more information about this plugin and all of Joey Sturgis Tone's other products in the description below or the pinned comments. My Patreon members can also get the stems for this song over on my Patreon page, which is also linked in the description below. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this plugin. If you're interested in it, again, definitely go check out that link to Joey Sturgis Tone's site. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I look forward to reading your comments and I'll see you next time.